but it is Valentine's Day weekend as well. So you could take your special someone to a dinner or a movie, or you could take them to a haunted house, uh, Howard. What would you do if your husband did this? Take you to a haunted house? I, I would have some some thoughts, some thoughts. Uh, that probably aren't appropriate for air. <laughs> All right. Well, it is a special pop-up haunted house for Valentine's Day. It is opening in Maniunk. CBS News Philadelphia's Ross DeMatte is there with a preview. Ross, is your wife nearby? <laughs> Uh, no, nowhere to be found. Go figure, Jen. <laughs> but you know, you got to be open to different experiences. Or so I'm told. That's how they ended up getting Kyle, my photographer, and I here this morning. We got our candles lit, and we are about to board the elevator. Come on in, Kyle. We are heading down to the basement of the haunted Lincoln Mill, and I'm joined by Jared Bilsack, one of the co-founders here. He's about to start up this uh, crazy elevator. Oh my gosh! Uh oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. We're here. Where are All we right. going again? We're down. So right now, we just hit the bottom of the Lincoln Mill basement. So we're about to venture in. And this is where the 1930s mill owner named Victor Kane tormented and experimented on his work. Here we go. Guys, it's going to be So Ross, I am warning you, it's very, very tight down here. We've experienced a lot of paranormal activity. We're on our way to the hidden chamber. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We have some did creatures. Did I did see that something. Is Victor over here? Okay, more people. <laughs> Guys, this is not my cup of tea. Ross, no Ross. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. Did you hear that? All sorts of stuff going on. So Ross, for for our Valentine's Day event. Uh, we've turned out all the lights, okay. and we're giving guests a little candle as they arrive, and they're going to have to navigate through the darkness. But along their journey, they're going to have to follow the hearts, which were left behind by Victor's Valentine. We're in search of Victor's Valentine. Oh my gosh! So, this morning. event is one night only tonight from 6 to 10 p.m. That's Saturday, February 10th, and this, uh, this event is very dark. It's very scary, and no there's definitely sense. a Valentine's essence throughout. I mean, oh Ross, what's more romantic than walking through a haunted house with your date around Valentine's Day? I think could think of a few things, but I guess that would be fun. Tell me again, why is that the best thing to do other than whining and dining? Oh, we have another friend coming behind. Hello is there. The oh my gosh, two of them. Hi. Don't hurt me, please. So, <laughs> Ross, I mean, for, for Valentine's Day, I mean, typically what, what you do, you, you, take, you take your date or your sweetheart out, out to dinner. Uh, how about something a little different? I mean, like I said, I mean, what's more romantic than walking real close with your sweetheart through a very dark, scary place below the Lincoln Mill here? I love it. Uh, maybe not me personally, but for people who love scares, this is a, a great time. And this is your only chance, right? I mean, tonight is the only time you're doing this pop-up uh, haunted house. That's correct. One night only tonight from 6 to 10 p.m. Wow. And guys, this is just one small sample. This is a huge haunted house. We're actually going to go to our next haunted area. Again, don't know who signed me up for this. I'm going to have a word with them back at the station, but we're having a good time here despite uh, our haunted friends behind us. I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. That is true. You get cuddled up next to your boo after that one. Yeah. yeah and I hope both people are in lockstep. If not, you might be a little single come Thursday morning. <laughs> <All right. laughs>